today we're going to talk about the Japanese language. So, what is Japanese? What is this in the first place? It's called Nihongo in Japanese. Nihon, which means Japan, and Go, which means language in this context. So, Nihongo is the Japanese language in Japanese, and this language is spoken or used in the country of Japan. And who uses Japanese? Well, basically, Japanese is used in Japan, which has 126 million people. So, literally, they are the Japanese speakers because Japanese is the、uh, Japan's official and official language, and、um, for all of them, it's the mother tongue. And plus, when it comes to Japanese learners, or this is, also, this is only based on like registered learners, or, like on apps or programs and stuff like that. So it should be more. Wow, there are lots. <laughs> I was very, very happy to, to know that. And you might have seen what Japanese looks like, but can you tell which one in this picture, for example, is Japanese? There are five. Different languages spoken in or used in Asia. Can you find the Japanese one?、Mm. Can you? Number five. <laughs> right.、Uh, number one, Chinese. Number two, Thai. Number three, Sinhala. Number four, Korean. Number five, This one was Japanese. So I hope you found the right one. Well, if you didn't, that's still okay because that's what we're doing right now. We're learning. And you might have guessed maybe number one. This might look similar because we do use similar characters.、So、how about this one? Can you tell if this is Japanese or Chinese? Well, this is Japanese actually,、uh, which means prime minister. So <laughs> that way, a bit different.、Uh, or not, not the different, they are similar. But the,、um, they are similar because Japanese has developed based on Chinese characters a long, long time ago. And based on Chinese characters, we have developed, we have created two more different ones. So in total, we have three different characters, which is hiragana. Katakana and kanji. Kanji means Chinese, char- ca- Chinese characters. Starts with hiragana. Hiragana is the most basic one and the most important ones in Japanese. Well, English has 26 alphabets in total, but Japanese has 46 basic characters, which is shown in this table. Or you could also say syllables. Because they are combined with consonant and vowels. So it's unlike English. But as an, as an English 26 characters, we have 46 characters. And this table, or like alphabets in Japanese, is called goju on. Goju on, which means 50 sounds, 50 syllables. Well, in the table, you can see only 46 characters. But as shown in yellow, There are some missing. So they used to be in old days, 50 in total. And plus the last one at the end of the left side, there's、mm. so that one's plus、uh, the other 45 characters. That's what we use today. And when we have a closer look at this table, so we have five basic vowels a, i, u, e, o. On top of this table, I have written with the、uh, from left to right way so that you can you can read it so that you don't get confused. <laughs> we we use vertical way, but here I have written in Western way. I hope it helps. And when we go down with consonant K plus those five basic vowels, it will be ka, ki, ku, ke. 
こ。with s さしすせそ。careful with し。with t たちつてと。careful with ち。not t。But chi. With N, na, ni, nu, ne, no. With H, ha, hi, hu, he, ho. With M, ma, mi, mu, me, mo. With Y, ya, yu, yo. With R, it says R, but this R sound wouldn't sound like R. As in English. Da, di, ru, de, do. Did you notice the not, not exactly R sound, close to L sound, but in the middle? <laughs> so, da, di, ru, de, do. It's a bit tricky. It's a bit tough to learn this pronunciation, but you can just practice and you get it. The last one, W. Wa. Wo or in spoken language, spoken Japanese, it's usually pronounced o. And the last one, only consonant.、Mm. So that was the all four to six syllables, four to six characters in hiragana or in Japanese. And what about katakana? Katakana, well, this table looks totally alike as in hiragana. We have another. Uh, character, but the sounds and syllables are totally the same. So, 46 same syllables as the hiragana, but different characters. So, the same pronunciation, the same syllables, but different writing system. Why? Well, you know later. When do we use katakana? I mean, katakana has its own role. So, but But as said, hiragana is the most important one and the most basic, and you start with it always and you focus on it. And when you can, you can work on katakana. And they're similar sometimes, so that helps when you know hiragana. Right. So there are three different characters in Japanese, and the last one is kanji, based on Chinese characters. In this colorful sentence, you can see we use those three characters all mixed in sentences. For example, I read it out loud here. Watashi wa anime ga suki desu, which means I like anime. But in Japanese, it looks like this all combined hiragana, katakana, kanji, hiragana in pink, katakana in blue. Uh, kanji in yellow. It's all mixed. You see on this yellow kanjis, there are tiny little hiraganas. They are called furigana. They are there to support you to read unknown kanji for you. And when it comes to kanji for daily use, we know, or we're supposed to know, or we use 2136 kanji. Well, in Japanese compulsory education, which is nine years,、uh, Japanese children learn those 2136 kanji. For example, of the first six years, they learn 100, 200 per year. And then in total, it hits 2000. And there is no space between words in Japanese sentences. Hmm. Unlike English, but hiragana, katakana, kanji all mixed that helps to find out okay, this is just one word, this is、um, a verb, this is、uh, a noun,、uh, a name, and stuff like that. So that helps. So instead of spaces between words, we have three different characters mixed. And comma, we don't use alphabetical comma, sort of like mirrored, sort of like the other way. And period, we don't just write a dot, we write a tiny little circle.、Uh, modern Japanese, they go vertical, no, sorry, horizontal, like this way, but as in the right side with white background, you can see vertical way of writing Japanese. 
this way we use in newspapers, uh, magazines or novels or official classical document or in mangas. It looks like this. Oh, I said there is no space between words, but there are some spaces, especially for beginners. Yay! Lucky you! So, especially when it's written only in hiragana or katakana, it's even for Japanese, it's difficult to find. Okay, is this one word or just two words or where do we cut this and stuff? So, we do put spaces, especially for primary um, schools and the beginners of Japanese learners. And as shown in purple, colored romaji, which means Roman characters, so Roman alphabets. So there is watashi wa anime ga suki desu. This way you can see without knowing Japanese characters, you can read Japanese sentences. So this way. So when do we use katakana? Number one, foreign words. For example, Denmark. Denmark. Dorm. Drums. Anime. Anime or animations. Facebook. Did you guess what it was? It's Facebook. So they are those foreign words which are not original Japanese Japanese. So we write those words in katakana. So countries' names, foreign people's names, places, you know, products or brands and anything foreign. Number two, sounds. For example, nya nya. What is it? It's a sound of cats. Meow meow. In Japanese, that's nya nya. So that's a sound. And waku waku. That's the sound of excited feeling, like beating heart <laughs> and stuff. So when we are when we're excited, we say waku waku when you're looking forward to something. How about gong? That's the sound of a huge bell or like um you know a chime or something in church and in in shrines and temples. No, in temples. <laughs> Gong, like dong, or patch, 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 patch. That's the sound of clapping. Patch, 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 patch. So those sounds they are written in katakana. And number three, slangs or casual informal speech, or copywriting academ academic names. For example, maji, maji, maji means originally serious. Maji me. But as in slangs on the informal speech, like, are you serious? Is it true? Are you sure? Really? Stuff that's sort of a slang. So it's written in, in katakana. And the next one, kire. Kire means beautiful or clean in Japanese. And this is Japanese, Japanese, but written in katakana. So that way, um, copywriting so to, just to draw people's attention or to make this word stand out or to make it special so people usually choose to write specific words in katakana because everything can be written in hiragana so when you write some words in katakana it's a bit you know catchy so that way so it's it can be used for copywriting or to draw people's attention or marketing and stuff or academic names Sakura, which means cherry blossoms. Sakura is a Japanese uh, treat. But um, as in academic names, it's written in katakana. Right, the last one. Let's have a look at kanji. Well, kanji, I just mentioned 2,000, 3,000, 100,000 of kanjis. It sounds tough to learn, or there are many, or it's impossible. To learn it to remember it but good news good news is there are some very simple very easy very cute kanjis for example on top here you can see each ni san which means one two three and you see a cross which is pronounced ju that means 
10. So one, two, three, or 10, that's so easy. And you already know four kanji now. So kanjis can be easy. And when you see in Japanese sentences, there's one line like minus or plus and stuff, you could guess, oh, it can be ich, like number one or like ju, a ten or something. And the next one, chikara, katana, that looks like hiragana or katakana, but there are official kanjis, which means chikara, power, katana, sword. So it can be confusing, but it's also very simple to remember. Chikara, katana, and they're very simple kanji, but very powerful meaning, so I like it. And at last, you can have a look at the, um, the tough side, <laughs> hard-boiled side of kanji. So when you have a look at this kanji, utsu, utsu, do you know what it means? <laughs> this kanji is very complicated and very hard to write and this means depression so this kanji is depressive enough you know to remember or to write that's a bit ironic but um well that's i mean this is official kanji we have and in the picture you can see this is what I have written in calligraphy, but this is a um, Japanese official kanji. So Japanese kanji, Japanese, Japanese. This doesn't exist in Chinese, but 84 strokes. This is the maximum stroke code, <laughs> maximum numbers of stroke. And you can see six different kanjis combined together. Three of them mean clouds and the other three mean dragons which can read taito or other possible ways of reading. Yes, this is the toughest kanji, stuff like that. So, and that's it. That's all for today. Thank you for watching. Otsukare sama deshita. If you want to practice Japanese with us and meet your new classmates, you're more than welcome to join us. Okaeri school.